large and clear image during the day with 240 and still lumens. It's your personal cinema in a totally dark room. Smooth wireless screen mirroring through 2.4 gig connection. Fast Bluetooth connection for external speakers. Decent gaming performance thanks to low input lag at 31 milliseconds only. Interested? Let's have a closer look now. Meet the latest WeWatch projector in the market, V56. Build quality is great with sturdy plastic housing. Medium in size and light in weight. Stylish in design too. The main lens and IR receiver are located in front of the projector. Followed by focus and vertical keystone adjustment ring on the top. Power input and air intake with removable dust filter are located on the right. Followed by air outlet, headphone jack, AV input, micro SD slot, HDMI, USB port, and VGA on the left. Another IR receiver and 3W speaker can be found at the back. You can miss the big WeWatch logo and navigation buttons on the top. Four anti skip pads and a standard camera mount are located at the bottom. Lastly, here is the mini stand that lets you adjust viewing height. As for accessories, this is the IR remote control. A long and handy one. That does the job. For video input, the usual HDMI cable is there. Followed by AV cable for older devices. Power call with EU plug for me. Just select the correct one for you. A LAN cloth for cleaning. Finally, a user guide with useful information. Take your time to go through it. All right. Here are the projection distance and size for your reference. Suitable for both day and night with actual 240 NC lumens. FYI, I'm projecting at 80 inch screen size with all lights turned on on my bedroom right now. As usual, the smaller the screen, the brighter you will get. Here is 120 inch screen size in a totally dark room. Everything looks much better now. Yes, it is your personal cinema for movie. Just like other budget projectors, you need to calibrate V56 in order to get the best image result. Be sure to check out my values in the settings section. It is loaded with 45% NTSC panel. Great colors, contrast, and brightness. Nice and smooth image quality thanks to the anti-aliasing filter.
text performance is outstanding. You can use it to surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Good enough for daylight usage as long as below 60 inch screen size. For extreme tests, V56 is performing excellently as well. Corners are sharp and in focus. Easily one of the best among all the budget projectors. You can play videos directly with the built-in media player. Just plug in USB hard drive, will do. However, not all video format is supported. My test video for subtitle and AC3 audio is not working here. Photo viewing is as simple as ABC. Working smoothly. The built-in 3 watt speaker is great, crisp and clear, suitable for quiet room. <coughs> Lastly, the fan noise level is decent. You won't hear fan noise much during music or movie playback. 1080p input and SDR decoding are supported. And a lot of refresh rates, but no 50Hz. Do take note. 24Hz video playback performance is smooth and it is the best. 50 Hz is okay, not the best nor the worst. No perfectly smooth playback on 60 Hz that I hope for. It is shuttering as you can see. This 24p video is being played back through HDMI with an external player. V56 is performing well on both highlights and shadows. Everything is crisp and detailed. Colors are not the best, but still acceptable. Average performance at best in this 4K 60p video. Not perfectly smooth video playback, but still get the job done. Fifty hertz video playback is okay. Suitable for pale regions contains indeed. All right, let's have a look at the settings. Yes, Bluetooth is supported. The connection is excellent, fast and stable on external speakers. You have several picture modes to choose from. User mode with custom values. You can adjust the color temperature too. The same applies to sound. Just adjust the treble and bass values 
that suit you. Several languages to select. English for me as usual. That's all. Take your time to play around with them. Screen mirroring is available on both Android and iOS devices. In short, Miracast and a play. Miracast is working perfectly smooth as you can see. However, the response is average only. Nonetheless, you can share photos and even cast video from your smartphone to the large screen easily. How about gaming? We watch V56 pass the input lag test with this. 31 millisecond response time is what you get. Yes, it is great for all casual games. As usual, Pinball is used to test projector gaming ability. Working great on the Nintendo Switch game console. However, not perfectly smooth as I hoped for. Yeah. A little spokesperson was quoted as saying, Uh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. Honey, give me any laundry you have. I'm doing a diapers and Meg love. Meg, who let you back in the house? Shut up, Meg! Giggity. Shot, we watch V56 is a nice budget 1080p LCD projector, suitable for both movies and games. Interested? Please use my referral link to shop. It will help me a lot. And be sure to check out my top projector chart too. You might find the one that suits you most. 
Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and turn on. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.